Hey everybody, this is Clover, and I'm here playing something a little interesting today. I'm playing Dr. Mario. Now, this is probably going to be a one-off, because, um, you know, the... I don't think this will be super interesting as a series, but, um, I'm a little bit offset from my, uh, Metroid Dread playthrough. Uh, so I finished, uh, Metroid Dread... Uh, in today's playthrough in, uh, in three episodes, and I needed to record four episodes. So, I know you're all really excited to hear about all this stuff, but, um, yeah. I'm recording an episode of Dr. Mario as a one-off. How about that? So, interesting thing about Dr. Mario, um, I primarily only played it as an adult, uh, or at least, uh, when I wasn't a kid. Um, I, we never, we, oh no. We never owned this game in my house, uh, so we had to, uh, so the only time I ever saw it was, uh, was at, like, uh, you know, uh, the house of, like, people, like, people that we went to when we were kids. I, 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 I have a very vivid memory of going over to, uh, to, um, someone's house as a, like, when I was, like, four, three or four, maybe. And that person playing Dr. Mario. Um, and that was like... That was like in the early 90s, so... Yeah, just a funky little thing to, to remember. But I, I got into playing uh, Dr. Mario when I was... Uh, when I was in my 20s. Uh, and it's a fun little game. Uh, it's a puzzle game. Uh, and you don't have to, like, think about it a lot. Which is uh, something fun. Uh, some of you probably already know this, but I, my voice is a little messed up right now. It's kind of at the end of the recording day. And, um, uh, I went to a Coheed and Cambria concert last night, which was awesome. Um, but, uh, I screamed my head off and, uh, that's why I sound like this. So hopefully next time I won't sound like this. Oh man, I just ruined my life. There's a lot of scenarios in this game where you ruin your life. Okay. Um... Sure. And then how about this? Yeah. Yeah, how about that? Okay. Um... But yeah, I never, uh, I never got to really play this as a, as a kid. Uh, so it was, uh, interesting to come to as an adult. I, I often, uh, anger my, uh, my wife and my, uh, my friends when I make them play Dr. Mario. <laughs> because, uh, it is one of the games that I think I'm pretty good at. I mean, I don't, my strategy isn't great. Uh, but, um... It is it is something that I think I'm 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 pretty okay at, um, but yeah. Uh, let's do that. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna get it. Ah. <laughs> the thing is, on uh, for those of you who have never played this game before, on multiplayer, yeah, you're both doing the same thing, but whenever you complete uh, pills, um. I think if you complete two sets of pills in one move, then you kind of screw over the other player. You uh, you send you send an additional set of pills down at them. Pills are these little things you're trying to get rid of the viruses, which are the little faces that you see that I'm trying to make uh, I'm trying to make columns on top of. Um, but uh, when you're when you're doing uh, two player on this, you send uh, you send more pills down uh and those are random so it doesn't like if they're it could land on top of a stack they're already trying to do and it could be a mismatch color and stuff like that which is pretty pretty annoying to be the recipient of i will admit okay yeah sure let's do that cool And you always want to try and like, I mean, I'm, I'm no expert at this, but you always want to try to your, set yourself up to, to send additional, 
expect uh, to be not to like if you have a stack of five uh, a stack of five pills and you can send that additional pill somewhere else you only need four pills to to cancel out a virus so <laughs> it's very apropos this uh this time this time in our existence isn't it to to be talking about um <laughs> you only need four four pills to to take care of a virus anyway um uh so basically you want to try and strategize to send extra pills in other in to other places so you're not you know wasting time or you know you you at least don't have to you know it's it's efficient the game is about efficiency okay yeah. So yeah, um, you should tell me all about your experiences with this game. Like, did you guys uh, did you guys grow up with it? Um, is it something you came to late? Uh, do you play it with your friends? I've I found it to be one of the best couch co-op games to to play with uh, friends and family because it's just so much fun. Um, but yeah, tell me down in the comments below. I'd love to. I'd love to hear your stories about uh, about um, Doctor Mario because it is such a it's such a such an interesting and, and great game. I know they came out with a mobile game uh, either recently or a couple of years ago. I can't remember which. Um, but uh, yeah, I never played that. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'd be interested in it. Maybe I should check it out. Let me let me know if you've played the uh, the the new Doctor Mario. Also, oh, this is terrible. Well, whatever. Um, yeah, let me know if you played the new Doctor Mario and what you think about it. Uh, how it stacks up to this? Can you beat the classics? I don't know. Oh, <laughs> just making it more and more challenging for myself right now. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right, let's see how this goes. Yeah. Cool. Let's get this little guy down here going. Okay. Yeah, the unfortunate thing is when you when you have a like double blues or something and uh oof. You have double blues. Oh, I didn't even need to do that. You have double blues, and um, and you don't have uh, you don't have anywhere to land the blue, the second blue. That's always annoying. Or you know uh, any color, but yeah. Shpoop. Goodbye, viruses. Yeah, I never, I never go super. I never go uh, fast. Uh, I generally go medium speed because fast gets gets pretty daunting pretty quick. Speed, uh, medium is gonna get pretty daunting pretty quickly too. Uh, but yeah. Okay. Okay. Do 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 do. Okay, cool. Uh, let's do that. Okay. Nice. Well, I kind of messed myself up over there, but that's okay. We'll take care of it that way. Okay. Oh, <laughs> why did I do that? I'm stupid. Yeah, especially as I get further into the further levels, I'm definitely going to be more quiet, so sorry. Sorry if that's uh that's weird for you guys because I know I never shut up, uh, but um, 
it's a uh, it gets a little hard to to keep concentrating uh, as you get on as you get further on in the game. All right, let's try and yeah, I guess we can get rid of this. Okay, why not? No, that's why not. Oh well, uh, I should have done that. Darn it. Okay. All right. Ow. Uh, dude, dude. Dude, dude. Okay. Okay, nice. That'll that'll wedge me in there a little bit. Okay. Okay, cool. Very nice. Cool. Alright, and one left. See, we stacked them all up, we ran them all down, and then here is where we are. This Mario is doctoring all over the place. This Mario is very doctored. Congratulations, you got to level five. <laughs> I don't know why, it, it's the weirdest thing. It congratulates you there and then the, it doesn't do it again uh, until much later, but uh, yeah. Yeah, well, okay. All right, you can see I'm getting a little, it's getting a little pressureful right now. Pressureful. Okay. All right. Okay. Here we go. Okay, and there we go. Okay. Eh. I'm just being cautious now. Okay, nice. All right, let's do that. Right. It is getting a little fast now too, so it's definitely gonna get more difficult for me to to keep up with this. But we will see how far I can get. <laughs> That was close. Close to stupidity. A story by Clover. Close to stupidity. Clover's life story. A Clover autobiography. Okay. Nice. I'm just kind of all over the place, but that's okay. Okay. Um. All right. Cool. There we go. I don't want to do that yet. Let's get rid of this guy first. Oh, there we go. Okay. Bingo, bango, bongo. 
Mario has been doctored. Now, I'm thinking we get up to level 10 if we can, and then I'll call it level 10. Because, uh, yeah, I'm sure you guys don't want to too long of a Dr. Mario episode where I'm barely talking because I'm concentrating on playing Dr. Mario. But yes, uh, like I said, I don't think I'm going to be playing this very often or very long unless that's something you guys want to see. Some people are really into Dr. Mario, as I am. It's just more of a, uh, more of a solitary game when it comes down to it. Unless you're, of course, playing with friends, then it's a whole different ball game. Nice. Uh, less nice, but okay. Let's see what we could do there. Okay. Yeah. And I am playing this on uh, on the Nintendo Switch. This is part of the uh, NES Online collection. Uh, I'm very grateful that they. They added this because it is one of my favorite games on the NES. Um, and I'm playing with the, uh, the uh, wireless NES controller that they, uh, that they made for the, for the Switch. I forget what else I played. Uh, Mega Man 1 I played with the... Ugh. No, that's not terrible, but... Okay, that's terrible. Um, Mega Man... Wow, wow. <laughs> See, this is what happens when I talk. Uh, Mega Man 1 I played on the, uh, on this same controller. Uh, my buddy Metapod told me that, uh, apparently the, uh, I, I was blaming the controller at first for some of the, uh, some of the jump delay, uh, that I was experiencing in the game, uh, in Mega Man, uh, 1, but apparently, uh, uh, Metapod, who's kind of a Mega Man expert, let me know that, uh, that, um, uh, the game, uh, the game actually, uh, is the delay that, for whatever reason, that port of the, of Mega Man 1, that's part of the Legendary Collection or Legacy Collection, whatever it's called, um, that, uh, that port, it causes the delay, uh, the jumping delay in your controls. So no matter what I would have used, I would have gotten that same delay, which is good information to have. If any of you are going to play uh, that port, don't be too bothered uh, by the fact that the uh, the controls aren't super precise. You have to you have to. It's it's almost imperceptible. It's not that it's not too bad. Um, but yeah, I mean it's something something that you should certainly keep in mind. Okay, I could probably have done that better, but whatever. Okay, let's do you. Nice. Cool. All right, let's give that to you. Very, very nice. Okay, cool. Level 8. Level 8 and on. Okay. Alright. You always get concerned when you start running out of, uh, when you see that a lot of the colors showing up are the same colors. <laughs> so, like, you see that uh, a lot of my tops are yellows right now. That's not great, because that means that I'm probably going to land, yeah, like, I'm going to land these blues on top of yellow, which isn't the end of the world. As you can see, I can just clear it up right now, but still, you would want to not do that as much as possible. Uh, all right. I didn't even th I think that would happen. That was a luck of the draw situation right there. Okay. Um. Okay, cool. That was almost terrible. <laughs> Nice. 
Nice. Cool. Let's get rid of this guy while we can. I love when the music corresponds to the sound effects. Like it went da 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 da, and then I put the thing down and it went blue. That was pretty. That's always a, a very happy moment for me. Okay. My sister uh, recently uh, gave me a gave me a cart of my uh, of Dr. Mario for the NES. Which was a very nice gift, um, but yeah, I do have I do have the uh, the game on the on the NES, you know, to play on my NES. But uh, it's just easier to record off of Switch um, because of uh, because um, it's already HD. I don't have to do any upscaling. Um, I've been looking into into getting some upscalers. Uh, so that I could, that I can play, uh, that I could play NES games, uh, straight from the NES. Uh, like one that I have that I would love to do is the original Final Fantasy. Um, that'd be a lot of fun to do. But, um, yeah, I gotta, I gotta buy an upscaler first, and they're a little bit on the pricey end. And then when that's all done, I gotta figure out how to, how to work it out in OBS, because, uh... You know, you always got to figure out how these connections, these connections run to, to make it work in your recording software. So, and yes, to record, I use OBS. Uh, that's uh, it's it, it really is a great piece of software and it's absolutely free, which is uh, which is so nice because so many of the uh, so many of the things in the production industry are meant to just be barriers, uh, barriers to entry for a lot of people learning to to create new stuff like uh like uh, adobe's editing program premiere which i use costs an arm and a leg it's like 30 35 bucks a month or something like that and of course they can't just give it to you for a one-time fee you have to pay for a monthly thing because you know the software is that valuable right Anyway, that's enough of an old man complaining about the kids on his porch. But um, yes, um, things are expensive. <laughs> but uh, OBS is 100% free and it works great. Um, there are a couple little bugs here and there. And it's just kind of expected with open source software, but you always got to keep that in mind. Another great piece of open source software. Uh, I'm sure some of you... Uh, have used this before uh, if you're into you know recording your own stuff but um, um, Audacity is a great uh, free digital audio workspace um, so if you have the opportunity to pick that up you should uh, they recently did some funky things uh, I forget I forget what the exact situation is but you should do your research on them uh, just in terms of like what they did recently uh, uh, to their to their software, uh, they got rid of some functionality, and they I think they I think a big chunk of the company was sold to somebody. But I don't know. Uh, you could look that up on your own. But uh, yeah, do keep that in mind. I use a, I use a version a couple of uh, a couple of installations back, uh, so it really is the perfect piece of software for me. Um, I love it, and I think it still helps produce crisp clean recordings uh, i do all my audio mixing for gaming with clover in uh in audacity um and yeah i mean it's uh, it's kind of funny i work with a lot of people who uh who do uh professional audio uh production and editing and um a lot of them guffaw <laughs> at uh at free at uh, at ableton but uh I mean, the fact of the matter is, it's a, it's absolutely free, and it does everything that you could do in Pro Tools. You know, like the the compressors aren't as nice; they're not as flashy or shiny or chic. Uh, you don't have as much much uh, immediate control. You have to you you have to kind of you have to kind of um, uh, what's it called? You have to be able to like figure some things out to to make it work perfectly, but. It is, like, completely free, and that's always a plus in my book. 
especially when it comes to uh, production uh, uh, production software or production equipment because that stuff's super expensive and it is uh, not meant for people who uh, who are struggling to make their way in life. I could tell you that much, which is a little bit of a letdown. But yeah, one of my ideas is uh, for uh, I don't know about a, a new YouTube channel, but it would probably be have to be hosted on a on a new YouTube channel. But I've thought about like doing uh, how to videos on like quick and easy uh, means of doing uh, doing production and also like kind of equipment breakdowns the the types of uh, the pieces of equipment that I use and how I can uh, you know sort of uh, how I can sort of uh, uh, do uh, do this gaming with clover with a uh, with some uh, some like affordable in some affordable nature, you know, without buying stuff that's super effect, uh, super uh, super expensive or or anything like that. There are ways to do it, um, but you just have to you always have to be aware of of uh, kind of what's out there, what's uh, what's available to to purchase, and um, yeah, that's kind of the big the big thing. But yeah, let me know if you would like to to see a channel like that where I can, you know, give you tips and tricks for for editing videos, for editing audio, uh, for, um, you know, uh, um, doing, like, different things in audio. I, I'm a pretty experienced audio editor, so it is, a, it is a passion of mine, and if you guys would dig it and be able to use it, I would love to show you those things. I also thought about maybe doing... Uh, doing um a live stream where i i live edit uh an episode of gaming with clover uh and maybe i could do that like longer term uh because you know i'm spending the time doing it anyway might as well uh might as well like uh put it up there for for people people to be able to to use if they want to kind of cut their teeth in uh in video or audio editing uh could be useful so uh yeah let me know what you guys think of that uh some exciting things for for the future maybe okay and we are just pumping along here here in level 10 already uh so i think i will call it after this if i beat this uh but yeah um let me know if you guys want to see more of these uh more of these one-offs um, usually I'm doing longer form series, uh, um, I'm trying to, to not jump immediately into, uh, a super long series, uh, after Earthbound, though, though Pokemon Nuzlocke might be also just as long as, as, uh, as Earthbound, but, um, we will see. Uh, but yeah, let me know if you guys uh, dig these these uh, you know kind of one-off episodes where you just see me uh, play a game that I that I really dig that I'm kind of in the mood to play at the at the moment. Uh, that would definitely be something fun to to do for you guys sometimes. All right, that's a, that's one of the things that I actually kind of find find of kind find kind of interesting about. Um, about uh, Dr. Mario, it's that it's a very uh, it's one of the few games that I don't really have to to actively pay attention to to play. Um, it's like it's one of the few games, in my opinion, where like for me at least, where um, I feel I do better when I'm not trying to pay too much attention to what pieces I'm putting down or like what strategy I'm using. Um, though I can definitely say there have been times <laughs> where I've played with, uh, with my wife, Basilisa, or my friends, and I've been like, no, 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 you gotta shut up so I can play, <laughs> so I can play correctly. But, um, yeah, I can, I definitely, I can definitely just, like, kind of, uh, talk, uh, while, while playing this and, and just zone out and let the, let, let my fingers do the work. Uh, it's a it's a very second naturey game to me. Okay. Yeah, I know that's not great, but we'll see what happens. Okay. Nice. All 
Well, that didn't work out as planned, but I guess that's fine. Okay. Yeah, so, um, I, I also wonder, like, how much, uh, how much people, how much experience people who watch the show have with, like, doing their own Let's Plays. I don't know if many, many other Let's Players are watching, are watching Gaming with Clover, but, yeah, it would be interesting to, to hear from you guys to, to see, uh, you know, uh, how many of you do your own Let's Plays and what kind of, uh, what kind of content you guys like to produce. So, yeah, please do, uh, please do share share that down in the comments below uh, I would love to hear that or even dreams and aspirations like do you guys do some of you guys want to want to be let's players is that is that your uh, is that a dream some of you have because um, it is a it is a uh, one that I that I uh, have come to or I mean I've always watched let's plays but um it is one that I've come to rather late, uh, at least in terms of getting my own done. So, yeah. Uh, but yeah, thank you, uh, thank you guys for 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 putting up with me all the all the time and 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 listening to my listening to me rant about uh, about audio editing and and uh, and uh, games that I love <laughs> or games that I hate because <laughs> uh, I do both of that both of those things but i think with that i will call it here for today so thank you guys so much for joining me come check me out next time and i will see you guys then thanks so much guys bye